Welcome everyone. This is my channel, Learning English with Flor. Today's topic is going to be how to introduce yourself in new ways. Now, when you first learn English, you learn the basic phrases, how to say hello, nice to meet you, pleased to meet you. But what if you want to take your English to the next level? If you are intermediate or higher level in English, these are going to be phrases you can use, particularly in the business setting. Again, welcome. My name is Flor and I am an English teacher currently here in San Jose, California. I've worked with both adults and younger children and I love what I do, which is why I'm sharing it with you on this channel. So what are these new ways for you to introduce yourself? Imagine being in the business world. You have meetings, you have conferences, all these places for new opportunities to meet new people. How do you make it sound professional though? Here are some phrases. Let's say you go to a conference and you meet someone that you think you've heard about before. This is what you can say. You must be John from HR. I've heard so much about you. Notice how I started that phrase. You must be, and I've heard so much about you. You'd want to follow up with saying who you are, but instead of saying, hi, my name is, why don't you try saying this? I'm Sam from HTB Engineering. So you would say who you are, but also say what company you work for. What if you meet someone you think you might have met before? Here's what you can say. I think we met in San Francisco, didn't we? Notice how I started that sentence. I think we met in San Francisco, didn't we? I made my question into a tag question by adding the didn't we? And it makes it sound so much more common to native speakers. I think we met in last year's conference, didn't we? And of course, adding the professionalism, the politeness, you could say, great to see you again. Great to see you again. Okay, so what if you're meeting someone for the first time? You've never met them before. You could say this. Hello, I don't think we've met. I'm Erica. I give the salutation. I state that we haven't met and then I introduce myself. Now, it is important in the business setting or casual setting that if you have two people with you that don't know each other, you introduce them to each other. So look at this example, how you introduce those two people. Tony, this is Suki from our Japanese office. Suki, meet Thomas, our new director of marketing. Here's another way to tackle that same situation. You could say this, the person's name. John, I'd like you to meet Sally. I'm not sure if you two have met before. Notice what's underlined. I'm not sure you two have met before. Now, if you were one of those people who were being introduced, you could say, nice to meet you. So what do you think? Having different phrases in the business setting is definitely helpful, especially when you are also working with native English speakers. In the business world, oftentimes you have clients or people who are from English speaking countries and you want to make sure to sound as natural as possible. So now it's time to practice. 
I'm gonna give you some statements with some blanks. Your job is to see what word fits in that blank. Do you think you can do it? All right, here we go. Number one, you blank be Peter from the marketing department. Which word goes in the blank? The correct answer is you must. You must be Peter from the marketing department. All right, try this one. Number two, really good to you again. Right, really good to see you again. Okay, here's this one. I'd like to you to Amy. What goes in the blank? Right, I'd like to introduce you to Amy. And the last one, have you two each other before? Right, past tense of meet. Have you two met each other before? So how did you do? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video or you wanna see future videos similar to this, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Again, write in the comment section, what did you find helpful? What would you like to have more lessons on? And feel free to check out some of my other videos that focus on business English as well. I appreciate all of you for watching. Thank you so much. I will be seeing you all soon.